We are exactly two days away now from what a lot of people are expecting to be the match of the year. It's going to be match of the year. Marcus Centafonte has finally decided to shut his mouth and try and fight us with his fists. Which is unusual for him because he's one of those people that like to call people out whenever they're not present. This match isn't just going to define the Awakening's legacy, it's going to define Marcus Centafonte's career and everything he thinks that he's done for backyard wrestling. Well, Marcus Centafonte, all you've really done is piss off the wrong people. We have inflicted so much pain over the last two years. Two and, years. <laughs> and before that, we were all on our own individual tears. Over time, you thought that you could run our lives. You took it from backyard wrestling to real life. And that's whenever we decided that you needed to go. Just like we've done countless times before, we're going to disperse you. You know what? It's funny you should mention that because I was just thinking, we've killed a lot of careers in our time. Maybe we haven't, if we haven't killed a career, we've definitely affected a lot of people's psyche and screwed with their minds. Which is funny, because Senafonde, I don't know if you happen to know anything other than yourself. This right here, my friend, is what we like to call a voodoo doll. <laughs> and a uh, voodoo doll is known for inflicting pain on somebody. Well, you know, one by one he's been trying to pick us apart. How about we inflict pain on this doll ahead of time. Weaken him. Screw with him a little bit. But here's the thing. Let's put a pin in for every career we've destroyed. Who, who was first on my list? I think I ended uh, Caden Angel. Caden Angel? Yeah. <coughs> would you like to do the honors? I think his arm would be good. Oh, right there. Right, right in the left arm. <laughs> Uh, who did I kill first? Ooh! Lee Andrews. The yellow one. Yellow. <laughs> We're gonna put him right in, in that other one. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> feeling it now? Are you feeling it, Marcus? <laughs> I'm sure you have another one. I have I have plenty others. Uh, Lil Ryder? Lil Ryder. A little kid. Let me do this shit. <laughs> put that I'm one. gonna put it right in the hand. Stay strong, Marcus. <laughs> right there. Stay strong, buddy. It's okay. Who was next for me? Oh yeah. I gave MX5 a stroke. He didn't wrestle for a year. Definitely screwed that kid up a little bit. Look at this. Oh, hand. oh. Oh, is it hurting? Right into the middle of the hand. Oh. You have more? I have more. I have Airborne Extreme. Airborne Extreme. I was in that match. You were there. Uh, let's see. Do I have a red one? Oh, that's yeah. that's that's some blood right there. Let's <laughs> let's wipe that. <laughs> uh, let's see. That one. There you go. Sorry if you do, if you uh, are uncomfortable with my blood on you, but just think in a couple days it's gonna be Senafonte's blood on us. Right in the dick. <laughs> oh. Because he's been fucking oh. backyard wrestling up for far too long. <laughs> uh, freak boy. Speaking of BYG, I was supposed to wrestle him that weekend, but I didn't. I said he should be in that match, and he broke his back. Freak boy. Thank God, freak boy. Oh, we're gonna put that right in his back. Oh, <laughs> stabbed in the back again, Marcus. <laughs> Just like everybody you try to befriend. Ooh. DC Doom. DC Doom. He thought that I was gonna be his comeback match, <laughs> but it was that match that put him out for good. Good, I remember that. What arm was it that was hurting him? That was his left arm. Let's put it in there, oh. that'd be. Right in the elbow. That's a former SWC wrestler, AJ Todd. Right in the middle of the chest. Him and I go way back. Right a stab in the heart. Oh, I'm feeling bad for Senafonte right about now. Who else was in that match, though? Mad Dog, you're right. Oh, you move go right in the thigh. We'll move oh. to the thigh. He's got little girl legs anyway. <laughs> Backyard Fist 11. The yeah. show that should have never happened. I ended Chris Breakdown's Chris career. Chris Breakdown's well, he's good for a kick. Oh, he he's good kicks. Right here. It's funny oh, that that right show there. was run by oh. other women. Ooh. Though I wasn't actually in the match, I think I played a 
big part, we played a big part in getting rid of Joe Randa. He couldn't get the job done. I'll put this right in the other thigh right there. Man, look at this. Oh, that man. is a collage. He is hurting. Of, of souls. There's no way he could possibly sleep through this. No, there's no way. Because we cut our videos directed towards you guys at 3 in the morning. The dead, dead hour. hour. <laughs> you know you know who else I took out? Who'd you take out? I took out the Prodigy. That's right. Oh. You have a black one on there? I do, actually. Oh, get one. the black one. I think I think your neck hurts, Prodigy. Oh, oh man. Oh, broken neck. Do you remember that? Oh. Oh. Everybody blamed it on Brandon. It was me the whole time. Ooh, I believe I was the special guest referee uh, in one Daniel Makabe versus Rigor Mortis. And I'm pretty sure I hit the three count for Rigor Mortis. I didn't have to. Steve and I go way back, but I did. Oh, he's a masseuse. So we're going to put this right in the lower back, right? Do you mind if I do the honor? Go ahead. <laughs> I do, have, I do have one more now that I think about it. I don't think I talked about this yet. Who is it? I ended my best friend. <laughs> Hack Edgeman. Hack Edgeman. Where are you going to put him? Mm, I don't know. This one doesn't have a nose. I would do it there because all the coke he's been blowing lately. <laughs> he's doing the big black chicks with big asses. I think we should get it right there. Oh, right in the fucking right ass. Right in the ass. Right in the ass, Hack Edgeman. Because <laughs> that's all you ever were to the community. A pain in the ass. <laughs> I have an idea. What should we do? I'm thinking that looks a lot like J2 Step and uh, Crucible Chris Ambrose to me. Put that, put that right in the heart as well. Oh, right next to it. <laughs> you see this Cenophone? This doll that represents you. With the pins that were in my arm, the pain that I felt is finally going to end. The pain that all of us has felt. Two years legacy. Oh, this chapter two is is uh is finally coming to an end. Don't doubt us, son of Fonte. On Saturday, your destiny belongs to us. And there's nothing you can do to keep it. We'd like to invite every one of you to Marcus Senafonte's funeral procession. As his career is uh <laughs> His career is going to end up in flames. <laughs> See you on Saturday, Santa Fonte.